Hey, how's it going? So I want to tell you about a little project that I've been working on. A couple of years back, I picked up a, it was either a 2003 or a 2006 Les Paul custom neck that was in pretty bad shape. But, you know, the guy gave it to me for basically the cost of shipping. I mean, it came from Australia, but it's still basically just the cost of shipping. And it got to me with the fretboard was loose and the binding was tore off it and the fretboard needed some patching and it needed frets and inlays and an overlay. But, you know, it was genuine Gibson neck. So I rebuilt the fretboard and uh, put it aside. Figured, you know what? I'll try to find myself a um, studio body, you know, maybe one with a broken headstock or a broken neck, you know, happens all the time. And uh, route it for binding and uh, made it to the neck and make myself a, a Les Paul custom out of it. We found the body on eBay. Whoever had, had the body before the gentleman who sold it to me uh, must have broken the headstock. And apparently he took it to a luthier. luthier and what they did is they routed it for a bolt-on Epiphone neck. And he also had the Epiphone neck, you know, up for sale. And um, I don't know why just people just don't glue the freaking headstocks back on. It'd be better than ever. But yeah, so it, it was routed for a um, for an Epi Epiphone bolt-on neck. So I got it for like cheap. I mean stupid cheap. Took it to work and I put it in uh, an x-ray machine we had there just to make sure it had the now if you know Gibson products you know in the early 2000s they started doing something which is called Swiss cheese chambering or whatever you want to call it where they drill nine holes in the upper rear bout of the body and so I put it through the x-ray machine just to make sure it had these because you know, you want to make sure this is genuine Gibson. And it was. So what I did is I uh, stripped it all down. And I patched the uh, the neck pocket that they routed in it. I put, uh, I glued in a piece of mahogany and a piece of maple over the top. And the seams matched perfectly. And uh, rerouted it for the tenon of the uh, Les Paul Custom neck that I had. And then I uh, bought some some inlays online, made my own headstock overlay out of some American holly. That's the way they used to do it back in the day before they started using the vulcanized fiber thing that they're using now. It came out pretty good. Sit tight. Show you a crappy slideshow video. And you can see how it came out. It's all done. Still need to send it out. To get finished i'm gonna have uh, a professional do this one anything i learned about finishing black guitars is they are a major pain in the ass because everything has to be absolutely perfect or it sticks out like a sore freaking thumb so yeah this one um, i still got it hanging around putting some money aside when i'm not you know building other guitars to try to uh send it out and have it painted black, a nice black beauty. Gonna fit it all up with uh, genuine Gibson pickups and electronics and um, so sit tight and check out the video. Later.